Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Early morning in Kraków. So beautiful Sunday. And what we will start with today, this will be a little bit free flow and some notes that I will be reading to you. So let's start with the video, very short video that I have posted yesterday. Oh, okay, the breath. You see behind me, I don't know if you can read it, but those are the flags right here that say Kraków dla równości. What it means? Kraków for equality. So apparently in May, this is the focus here. Therefore, I believe that parade yesterday was uh, because of it and uh, what, ca what can I say? Hmm. Trying to be diplomatic in this matter. I will say this. Soros money. <laughs> this is not diplomatic. Then I say this. The population agenda. And that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, there are many good people that just prefer different sex, that have no clue I don't think all of those people have clue, but what that parade was really, uh, you don't know what actually was going on afterwards because there was a lot of tourists, I've realized, actually, I've seen a lot of people from the UK that were in those rainbow costumes, which I, I'm like, how did they get those costumes if they are tourists? But anyway, so this is a little intro for this video, guys. I might find some place to sit down over there or maybe we can walk to to the park but before i get into the news this will be free flow with some information and then i will read you stuff so um few things there is a project that law and justice i mean project it's already been going on there is an intention to make some changes in constitution not just those that i was telling you before about the property but there is another one about the budget and that change would mean that if they implement this change in constitution poland can spend more money on buying uh, weapons and ammunition and tanks and planes like f-16 by the way Yes, because America is broke. Poland is broke too, but if we extend our budget, maybe we can stretch some more money for that. By the way, I don't have the exact number at the front of me, but apparently Poland is the country that will have the highest percentage of its own budget so GDP spent on militarization uh, on average the EU country spends below 2% Poland will have over 4% I have to actually find this article again and attach it in the video uh, down below the video so you can uh, read it yourself the exact numbers oh yeah it shows the time didn't tell you 9 a.m so yeah that's what they are doing and i have two things for you that i will read to you in a sec and that is why fbi have been training with polish police uh just last month so there have been some trainings going on and maybe we take a sit on the stairs right here and then i can read you this and another information I have for you is about um, Wołyń and that response from the ambassador of Ukraine to those words that I've told you yesterday, guys, you remember? So those two things today and then maybe we take a little walk just because it's Sunday. Lion. Okay, this is amazing. What a spot. Okay, let's see. This is a good place. 
bear with me i have my smoothie if you want to know the ingredients i tell you later on let's get into it the article will be below the video actually it's not an article i think it's from the official website of police and what it says night subway exercises in cooperation with fbi and this is from april this is the largest exercise of this type in europe organized by the polish police and implemented in cooperation with the fbi during the first episodes that took place in the subway this is in warsaw what was done there the readiness of the police and services cooperating to counteract terrorist uh, terrorist threats and conduct activities in the environment contaminated contaminated with the cbrn substance these exercises were also an opportunity to check and improve the cooperation and exchange of information between the fbi and the services responsible for counter-terrorism and counter-terrorism activities in poland the initiative to organize a joint venture in Poland was taken by the chef, chef commander of the police, General Inspector Jarosław Szymczyk, during his visit to the director of the FBI in the US. That exercise was scheduled for April 17 until 19 of 2023, last month. The main purpose of the exercise was to respond to the police and other services in the event of a crisis situation in the form of terrorist attack, re attack related to a chemical, biological radiation or a nuclear threat. Meanwhile, you see, I hope you see. Hmm. So, question here. And how I know this? Because uh, another channel that I watch, Souverainne.pl, you know, I always, I always mention, if I can, where I got the stuff from, Souverainne.pl, the second channel, Maciej Maciak Souverainne.pl, he actually mentioned this. Why they are going to, well, FBI, I mean, uh, Poland and FBI. Yep, there you have it. Rainbow, FBI, F-16, smoothie. Trying to laugh at it, and you know, guys, it's actually not funny. Before I get into the second notes that I have. Because yesterday when I was passing by that rainbow, I look at it and I said, I cannot live in place like this. I just know I can't. And I respect everyone's different uh, preferences and stuff. I know what I prefer. I'm a woman, I prefer men. But that's just me. Just one man, not all men. <laughs> anyway. Why I'm saying this, I have no idea, but I just said it. Now let's talk about this guy. Whose name is, and who he is, he's the deputy foreign minister and uh he was also one second where i have this uh, person here he is a former head of polish diplomacy so his name is witold waszczykowski and he responded to that very bold straightforward statement that i read you yesterday in regards to zelensky should apologize for vowing massacre and what he said, he was asked about his opinion, since it looks like he was the head of Polish diplomacy. So he said that Ukrainians, about the title actually, Ukrainians do not want to make any gestures towards Polish. And the article is from Rzeczpospolita, you will find it below this video. And it goes like this, these are actually his words. Uh, the issue of our difficult history should be solved before important decisions are made on Ukraine's international future. 
said Witold Waszczykowski, Peace, Law and Justice, MEP, and former head of Polish diplomacy. He was asked to comment on the statement from Ukraine in regards to apologies for Boeing. And he said, let's not create problems. Let's focus on supporting Ukraine, which Poland has shown, especially during last over 400 days, that it does not harbor any bloodthirsty, any bloodthirsty grudges against Ukrainians. We only expect some moral reparation that does not cost us financials. The response to our suggestion of these gestures are firm, sorry guys, my hair, are firm and go in the direction of insulting us on the basis of no because of no, you have no right. So somehow in all of this, uh, what's going on, it looks like they are on the same page. So they want the apologies. You know what I'm actually thinking, besides this aspect of them trying to get more voters? I am thinking they are trying to distract us with, from something much more important. And at first I would say it's cloud, but since there are no clouds yet, there is no rain yet, I'm thinking what they are trying to distract us from with those apologies. I think they might want us to pay attention to this while they are probably changing some laws. What do you think, guys? Because this is the topic that grabs a lot of attention. Let's walk a little bit to beautiful Sukiennice. Maybe the stores are open so I can show you. By the way, the statue is right there, so you should know by now. The one that I recorded, I explained to you. That uh, ends Alex Christophorus' videos. Okay, so I don't know what they are trying to distract us from, but uh, something is fishy here, in my opinion. That budget for the military equipment and other things. Hmm, maybe that. I don't know. I also think that um, actually Maciej Maciak mentioned this in today's video that they are stretching this budget no it's still closed but we can go this way they are stretching they are trying to stretch out this budget if they change that constitution because and I agree 100% with what Maciej Maciak said because because Poland will be providing those F-16s that Biden offered. That's all I have for you guys, everyone, today. Lots of love. Make sure to join me on Locals. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, check out my website as well, where you see all the books and all the other links. And what else? Uh, oh yes, I never really talk about it, but if you enjoy the content, if you feel like this is something that brings you value, or maybe simply you just like my energy, please subscribe. I really don't ask for subscription, but you know, let's hit this 100,000 one day eventually, <laughs> be good. Thank you guys, have a great, great Sunday, uh, a little bit free-flowing today. And I leave you with the beautiful, beautiful view from the old square main square in Krakow that actually yesterday was uh, occupied by the rainbow lots of love true love until until tomorrow bye guys